Hey everybody, welcome back to Isomorphs. Uh, today I just wanted to film uh, a short uh, kind of video log style video um, because I'm setting up uh, one of my hatchling carpet pythons into his uh, more permanent home and they can actually stay in these for anywhere from up to six months to a year depending on how fast or slow growing uh, your snake is. But um, I, I was able to keep um, neonate green tree pythons in a 15 quart sterilite tub setups just like this. Uh, for all the way um, up to almost a year into their life. So um, this is a super cheap solution. And I'll show you exactly what I've got here. I've got um, this uh, 3D printed perching system, uh, which is actually available for purchase. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll link that um, in the description of this video in case you're interested. And then of course I've got a little uh, water dish holder on top. And uh, I, I found that you can either put the water dish for them. Um, you can either put it on top or you can put it under um, and it doesn't really seem to matter, but it's a really nice dynamic perching system that works great in these tubs. So that's what I'm going to be using today. And I'll just uh, show you a little bit uh, about what goes into preparing a tub like this. So um, as you can see, I've, I've drilled some holes. So I've drilled some cross ventilation all the way around the side. And then I've also uh, drilled some holes on the top. Um, as you can see right here, I've got the top, so I've just drilled some holes on the top. Um, I've, I've messed around with uh, different types of ventilation. Um, I've even done secured chicken wire uh, with little squares for crosshatch ventilation, that sort of thing. And I found that one, um, if you have a smart enough snake, no matter how much you think you've secured something like that, um, there's still a chance that they could escape. And two, I found that Oftentimes, if you're drilling more holes than this, and this is just uh, one row of holes all the way around the sides and just one row of holes all the way across the top, I found that that's more than enough ventilation. Um, sometimes it is going to depend on the exact area you live in, how humid your room is, you know, how hot it gets outside and the evaporation and all, all that sort of just all that sort of stuff but um, what I found is that this works the best so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take uh, my sprayer and I'm going to go ahead and fill that up I'm gonna fill the water up to about there um, not all the way full uh, but also not too shallow and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prepare the substrate and this is just a very standard coconut chip substrate that you would find uh, at any reptile store um, or even uh, Petco and PetSmart has it nowadays. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to prepare my sprayer. And this is just a very standard uh, pressure sprayer that you could also find in either a reptile store or a hardware store. And uh, you can get them uh, relatively inexpensively. I know that they have like a four gallon uh, sprayer that I wanna get. It's only like 20 bucks at uh, Harbor Freight Tools, but what you want to do is you want to spray down all this coconut chip and you really want to get it saturated and then you want to mix it around because you'll notice that you're going to lose a lot of humidity uh, if you're only spraying the top layer because that top layer will evaporate and then the bottom layer will remain dry and you're going to have to spray more often. So anytime you're spraying, it's normally a uh, good practice to spray it down like this. Make sure not to get it too wet, but definitely make sure that it's damp. So, you know, somewhere, you know, in this range where uh, the water's kind of glistening on it, you've got some dry patches, but for the most part, it's nice and damp. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my actual uh, perching system here. I'm gonna place uh, this perch in here and uh, this has like adjustable legs on it. So you have to mess with it a little bit to get it exactly where you want it and get it exactly into a stable position. Um, I think technically speaking, um, you can secure this if you want. I choose not to just because I find it easier to work with and uh, the snakes never weigh enough to really throw it off balance. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, throw this in here and give you a better view so you can see the full tub. Um, and then this is the uh, perching system in its entirety. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little baby carpet and uh, today, <laughs> What I'm doing um, is I'm actually using uh, my makeshift PVC snake hook because um, I lost my snake hook and I have no idea where it went. So I ordered some new ones in the mail, but uh, since this guy's in a regular tub with no perching, um, and it has been for the last couple of hours uh, while I've been uh, doing some things and getting this stuff prepared, um, I just want to get him into his new home. So I'm going to use this hook 
and I will catch you in a moment uh, while I actually do the rehousing. All right, here is our gorgeous 50% diamond, 50% uh, jungle carpet python. So he is not happy with me. So I'm going to do this the best that I can uh, while getting it on, on film for you all. As you can see, he is uh, not the happiest camper. So he's probably not going to cooperate with me, but we'll see. Generally with our boreal snakes, if you can get them, there we go. If you can get them to kind of wrap around something, and this is actually where this might be a little easier to use with a hook than a hook. There you go. So nice and easy, just like that. Very simple. And I've got a lot more experience doing that than the first time I did it, but we're gonna go ahead, close this guy up, um, and then you can just throw this uh, on top of some heat tape, um, you know, connected to a thermostat. Uh, what I'll do when I've got a lot of hatchlings is I'll actually uh, use a flat surface on some sort of shelving unit. And what I'll do is I'll actually um, put a whole strip of heat, heat tape that are, runs across the entire uh, shelving unit or the table or whatever it is that I'm using. And then I'll just uh, throw the thermostat on 100 degrees, uh, put the probe directly on the heat tape, and then I will just line these hatchling tubs up uh, along the heat tape and that works great. Um, but what I'm gonna do now, as I just uh, demonstrated that, I wanted to let him settle here for a minute. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is right before I toss him in, I'm actually gonna throw some condensation on the top. And this is a really good indicator of uh, when you need to mist again is when this condensation disappears. So let's take one more look at him. Yeah, pretty snake. Yep, so uh, he is an angry snake. He's a pretty angry baby, but that was uh, rather harmless and surprised I did that with only one hand uh, while filming. Hopefully I got some good shots, but uh, thanks so much for stopping by on the channel. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, and follow me on other socials if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.